Hi there everyone, Tim Robson here. Hope you're all doing well. I'm just having a quick hour or two at the village. Just unpacked my bag, I've got water and a couple of bits and bobs to leave here. Everything's looking really nice, just how we left it. Things are drying out really well. There's a beautiful fireplace. These edges here are drying amazing, starting to set really hard. Same with these bits here. I'm filling all these cracks. Bunk beds are still looking really cool. Really sturdy, I was just sitting on them for two minutes as I got here. As you can see, John and I came out uh, two, three days ago, put this huge big tarp right on the top, keep it all sealed and dry. The clay hole is very full of water, but not as full as it has been. Our grass roof is looking really nice. growing really nicely considering how dead it looked when we put it on it's a nice lawn I'd like to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers my new subscribers who've just joined the channel and helped me get over 4,000 subscribers which I'm very happy about and also all my old subscribers people who've stuck around since the beginning of my channel and uh, yeah just a big thank you to you all it's fantastic uh, secondly i'd like to ask people who are subscribed to check the notifications bell and make sure that you have that clicked so that you receive noti notifications for my new content and also if you are watching regularly and you do enjoy what you see Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel in the first place if you're not already. And I uh, really appreciate that. See if we can get a push towards 5,000 before the end of the year. There's going to be plenty of content coming. <coughs> Lots more work at the village. A good bit more hammock camping before winter. And then all winter we will be here surviving the cold and the ice and hopefully some snow. So that's about that. I'll get back to playing around here you can get a really nice view of our turf roof from here I'm just on the uh, outside of the wall to the village it's a really nice sunny day you can get a really nice view of our turf roof from here I'm just on the uh, outside of the wall to the village it's a really nice sunny day just for the time being the weather has been really changeable Rain then sun then rain then sun, but it's a bit of a blue day today. Everything's growing up really nicely around the village, which is providing us with a good bit of wind protection. Although most of that will be gone come winter when the leaves are off. <laughs> As you can see, John's chinking that he did on the walls a couple of weeks back. It's really starting to dry nicely. I think even a little better on this side. It's dried off a lot in the past few days since we put the uh, the big green tarp up. I am going to bail out some water from the clay hole. Apologies for any wind noise, you're on the tripod and the wind's kind of coming in your direction. <clears throat>
There we go, got a decent bit of water out of there. I'm gonna wait for this to trickle back in and I'll try and collect a bit more of that pool. And then I'm gonna dig back some of this wall, mix it through and put it in a tarp. And I don't know, I'll maybe just sit it over in that shelter where it's nice and dry and hope it just dries out over the next couple of days. Today is Thursday and John and I will be back here on Saturday so be a decent bit of time for it to evaporate some of that water out. There I have bailed as much water as I can out of that hole. I'm gonna get digging and mix up a big batch to leave here before I go. Unfortunately, I can't find the tarp to fill with all this clay that I've just dug out. So I think I'm going to put a board over the top of here. Not that that'll stop water seeping in through the ground, but it'll stop rain getting in, I guess, in some way. <laughs> and uh, it's only a couple of days until we're here. We'll just have to bail it out and hope for the best. There we are all boarded over kind of gives a bit of added safety as well just in case anyone comes who isn't expecting there to be a big hole in the ground <laughs> right i'm gonna start packing my stuff up and go we are leaving the place like i found it like i said it's thursday today back here saturday afternoon once again Big thank you to everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm going to stick this little section on the uh, video you'll see on Monday, hopefully. All the best. Hi, folks. It's Saturday. Back again. Just got here, literally. Still got my helmet in my hand. Everything is in good order. Top still all tight and neat. The boards got a bit soggy. I bet it's still filled with water under there. drying up. Yeah, there is. Nice, I'm going to put my bag down. Oh, loving being back. It's pretty wet underfoot though, there's been a lot of rain. My clay hole is filled with water. I'm just going to go and fill up a bottle with some, some drinking water and uh, wait for John to get here finishes work in about half an hour I think he's getting a taxi out with Mr Tyson <laughs> so that's my plan really just get water bail out the water from the clay hole and that's about that well we've put another layer on the kiln no I keep calling it a kiln it's because of our first kiln yeah and how many layers we always put on it put another layer on the fireplace hi Tyson I don't know whether I've said Tyson and John are here. Kind of lost track of what I'm doing with videos at the moment. But yeah, put another layer on, filled a load of cracks and we're just firing it off so we can get some more on. We just spent 10 minutes or so doing some more chinking, filling in loads of nice gaps and things with clay. It's starting to look really good.
So I've just been adding more layers of clay onto this front section and then going through and smoothing it off as best I can. Trying to fill it right down to the edge. It's looking pretty good. John's just extending that wall around a little bit so we get a little bit more space. Good times. And now I've put the first slat in. So that's supporting the weight of all that clay. I'm going to do another one on the other side and then build this wall up and the back wall up to support another slat and just keep repeating that process over and over until we get up to where the chimney is going to attach. So I'll take a step back. That's what we're looking like. Really got it burning now. <clears throat> Drying it off nicely. See it's starting to steam. Turn my head torch up a bit. Put turbo mode on on the all light. It's looking really good. I'm super happy with it. One's gone already. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's time for a, a nightly eclair snack. Great night, lots done, pretty tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. See you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I've had a really, really good sleep. Um, slept for at least, at least 10 hours, solidly. Oh, feel refreshed and uh, rested. I'm gonna get up and make a coffee. It's 11 in the morning. Getting along nicely now, I've added another couple of layers and another layer on this side. Got it boarded off with this plank, supported by this bit of 2x4. I reckon you can see better now I've cleaned the lens. You get an awful lot of dust on the lens when you've got hands that are that mucky with clay. Yeah. Anyway, so next, get another board on this side, build that up, build the two centers up to meet, and then fire it off again. A lot of the uh, patches that we put in last night have dried. And it's looking really good. Look at that. <laughs> really happy with it. It's turning out very nicely. John's just lighting it up. Get all this new clay dried off. 
Still need to fill that little gap in there, but I ran out of clay. I'll do it in a minute before it gets too hot. I'm getting old, my knee just popped. <laughs> I'm kneeling here watching John put bacon on. It's uh, nearly 3 p.m. and it's just been snacks so far, so we're both totally ravenous for a bacon roll. Some streaky bacon, is it smoked? Uh... Yes. Yes, nice. Smoked bacon. Good stuff. It was just raining for a bit, so the grass roof is looking nice and fresh. I'm obsessed with this roof, I love it. He cooks with a mighty stick. There it is, looking fantastic. Get some sauce on the go. So that bacon roll was a nice appetizer to start the day. And uh, now John's made bacon burgers, which look amazing. Oh, they do look awesome. Yep. Round two. This is a very nice lunch. We went out to get a little bit of wood. I'm shouting because it's chucking it down. But we just got back in time, luckily uh, only got slightly wet backs. Just waiting for this beast to start roaring again. So folks, I'm going to bring this video to an end now. I'm really, really tired and achy and sore. Had a great time though back next weekend I've got my bag all packed up ready to go uh, hope you've all enjoyed this video um, yeah see you next week <laughs>